afternoon. I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Monday, the 26th of February. The government is launching a ministerial inquiry into a school property system, saying it's bordering on a crisis. Political reporter Demelza Jackson has more. Education Minister Erica Stanford says it will address problems where the scope of property works planned were unrealistic and unaffordable. She says there could be up to 350 projects in various stages where expectations far exceeded what could be delivered. Stanford says within weeks of forming a government, the Ministry of Education had already paused 20 building projects. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Education is defending its funding from questioning by National at today's annual review. National's Grant McCullum says people expect better outcomes given the $16 billion funding given to the ministry each year. Chief Executive Iona Holstead told him $15 billion goes into teachers' salaries and running costs are less than a billion. Almost all of that money is purchasing services for schools, purchasing services to support teachers, purchasing people to support teachers. You're right, there's a lot of money there, but I think it's really important. The families of victims of the 2019 Fakari White Island disaster are speaking of their pain. Six parties are being sentenced for health and safety failures. Australians Carla Matthews and Richard Elza were among the 22 victims. Elza's father Peter says for him, the couple are forever young. His decision to attend the tour that day was one that was consciously made, putting his trust in those who promoted and carried out the tour. Sister Mika says the trial revealed to them the couple's last movements. The last image we have of my brother is him reaching down to help her and that's makes me so deeply, incredibly proud of the man that he was to run towards danger. Frustration from truck drivers with the Brindewin Hills section of State Highway 1 closing in Northland. Strengthening work will continue until May 12, with a brief reopening over Easter. National Road Carrier's Chief Executive Justin Tyumbers says the road failure was clear a long time ago. They've been calling for the Brindewans to be bypassed for 20 or 30 years. NZTA are doing it as quickly as possible. We should have planned and built our way out of this years ago. Treasury's once again put on record its recommendations for a capital gains tax. Head Carolee McLeish told the Finance Select Committee today no work's being done on a CGT with no public appetite. Pushed by the committee, Economic Advisor Dominic Stevens says Treasury still thinks the government should adopt one. And police have launched a homicide investigation after a man's died in Mount Elbert this afternoon. Police were called to a disorder incident on Heana Way about 1.15 Two people had serious to critical injuries and a man has died at the scene. A second person is in hospital in a serious condition. It's understood the two knew each other. To sport now and the Blackfern Sevens have clinched their first title of the season, lifting the Vancouver World Series title with a 35-19 victory over France. The men lost their decider 36-12 to Argentina. American Jake Knapp has overcome waywardness off the tee to triumph in just his fifth start as a PGA Tour rookie, winning the Mexican Open by two shots. And Parramatta looks set to be without Mike Acevo to start the NRL season, with the Eels winger facing a three-game ban. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.